Alright, Barak Da Yahweh, Barak Da Yahweh Shai, Barak Da Yahweh, Barak Da Yahweh Shai, Kohalo Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakudash. That's uh, bless the Most High in the name of the Son. Alright, and um, all praises to the Most High in the name of the Son. Alright, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Alright, so this is another video, um, you know, dealing with prophecy. You know, we're in the time of prophecy, which prophecy is the spirit of Yahweh Shai. All right, when you go into the scriptures in the, in the book of Revelation, remember John the Revelator was told that uh, of the angel, the spirit of Yahweh Shah, the spirit of prophecy, which means to say before. All right, and we're, we're proclaiming what's to come before it comes. Mainly, what I'm talking about today in this topic is the return of Yahweh Shah and how Yahweh Shah, who the world, one the world ignorant calls Jesus Christ, all right, he's going to declare war, all right. On, on mainly Esau, Edom, the so-called white men in these other nations, these other governments, all right? He's gonna take them out. He's gonna take them out of power. So I'm gonna bring some scriptures out, you know, just going in the spirit of prophecy. Now this was told of Yeshaya or Isaiah the prophet, all right? He, 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 would, um, he told, or he, he was told of the Lord, all right? He has many prophecies in the book of Isaiah that, that foretells the coming of Yahweh Shah. So I'm going to start at uh, Isaiah 63 and 1. It says, Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel, travailing in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, righteousness mighty to save. All right? So it says, Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? All right, so his garments is like him that treadeth in the wine fat. Now, when you know when you tread when you tread the grapes, all right, your garment gets gets um filled with the uh, residue of the grapes, and that's how the Lord Yahweh Shah is coming, similar to that, where he's gonna he's gonna shed the blood of these Edomites, all right, he's gonna shed the blood of these other nations, all right, but mainly he's coming to take the so-called white men, the Edomites, out of power, all right. This is the day that he's been waiting on the right hand side of his father for, man. And we're coming into that time, man. That's why you see the wars brewing, all right? That's why you see uh, uh, the, the mirth being evaporated from Babylon the Great, which is America, all right? That's why you see the uncertainty, all right? That's why you see the wars and rumors of wars. It was all foretold of Yahweh Shah when he walked the earth 2,000 plus years ago, man, all right? And these things are gonna come to pass. Continue reading. It says, Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fan? I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. For I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garment, and I will stain all my raiment. So, like I said, liken unto the unto the grapes and the wine, uh, the grapes, all right. The Lord is going to trample them and shed their blood, all right? And he's going to stain his garment because when the Lord comes back, he's coming back as an angelic force. He's not coming back as a man when he walked the earth. He's coming back with great and mighty power, all right? When you read, this, when you read Revelation 1, when you read the book of Revelation 1, the first chapter, it says, Blessed is he that readeth. The men that can understand these words are blessed. But Yahweh Shah said it himself. He said, Behold, I mean, the scripture says, Behold, uh, Revelation 1 and 7, it says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, which the clouds represent the chariots, the so called UFOs. All right? Behold, he cometh with clouds. All right? He cometh with chariots. He's going to come with a host of chariots, meaning an army. All right? That's why you got Donald Trump. That's why in these, these uh, different classified government documents, they talk about the chariots. They have contingency plans if the chariots are ever going to come. You know, why is that? Because they know. They know. All right? Esau knows, man. All right? It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. All right? And it goes into this description right here, how the Lord's coming. All right? Reincarnation, because the men that pierced him are back during this generation today, they're in higher uh, uh, positions of government, man. 
All right, so the men that pierced them, he's going to get revenge on them. All right, all the kindreds of the earth shall well, meaning all the nations shall well because of them. Because when the Lord comes, he's coming with great destruction and wrath. As it is written in um, Isaiah 66, chapter 66 and 15, it says, Behold, the Lord shall come with fire and his chariots like a whirlwind. All right? Because when the Lord comes, he's going to come with the UFOs. The UFOs are going to bring forth fire. All right? The chariots are going to bring forth fire, man. Concentrated heat. All right? A lot of your great monuments that Esau has, like the Washington Monument, like uh, the White House, the Pentagon, a lot of them the Lord is going to take out with the, the laser beams, the chariots. Right, right before the missiles come, similar to uh, the war, the war of the worlds. All right, they show you that in the war of the worlds, the laser beams, man. All right. All right. It says, "I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending." All right. So Yahweh Shah was here from the beginning, the very beginning, and he's going to be here at the very end. All right. So that's why he's called the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, or the I and the Ba. All right. I mean Shalaki, the I. In the da, all right. When you go into the Hebrew alphabet, you go into the first character, which is a, and the last character is a da. All right. It says, "I am I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending," said the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty, which is to come. All right. So Yahweh Shai is to come. Going back to uh, uh, Yeshaya, the sixty-third chapter, it says, "I have tried in the wine presses," verse three. I have tried in the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. For I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury. So the Lord is coming back with anger and he's coming back with fury, man. Alright? That's why people don't understand what the Lord is bringing. That's why they're going to be caught off guard. Alright? It says, it says, um, and trample them in my fury. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my remnant. Uh, my raiment. It says, For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. So we're coming into the year of the Lord's redeemed, which means to bring back. Alright? We get a Hebrew word, you know, and this video is going to be real quick, because uh, the battery is running low on the, on the, uh, on the, uh, the camera. Alright? But, uh, you know, just going in on, on the prophecies of Yahweh Shah, man. Because for you, for people to say that the Lord is not mentioned in the, in the Old Testament, you're, you're sadly mistaken, man. Alright? You're sadly mistaken. And there's a lot of things going on. And before the Lord comes back, it's going to be terrible things that's going to take place in, in America and throughout the world, man. All right, let's go to Isaiah, the 63rd chapter, real quick. All right. All right, Isaiah, the 63rd chapter. All right, uh, let's see. So it says, for the day of my vengeance is in my heart, and the year of, of my redeemed. Uh, ga, ga, ga'al, ga'al, uh, redeem. When you look up the word of my redeem, uh, it says, uh, to redeem, act as a kinsman, redeemer, avenge, revenge, ransom, do the part of a kinsman, to act as kinsman. Do the part of next of kin. Act as kinsman's kinsman redeemer. Alright? Because the Lord is going to redeem. He's going to redeem men from death. Alright? When you read it, it says to redeem by payment, to redeem with God as subject individuals from death. You know? Which, yeah, Yahweh Shah is going to redeem us, the elect. Lord's will we have the elect, the men. Redeem us from death, which we're dead now. All right, so when Yahweh Shah comes back, he's going to give us life. That's why it says, and, and you know this is talking about Yahweh Shah. It says, For the day of vengeance is in my heart. This is what Yahweh Shah has been waiting for at the right hand side of the Father, Yahweh, man. All right, and it says, In the year of my redeemed, all right, the time that he brings back his kinsmen from death, 
All right, the elect. As a matter of fact, let me get this last scripture real quick. Let me get this last scripture real quick. This is in Luke. Because this is what a man of the Lord should anticipate and wait and watch for. All right, this is uh, Luke, the first chapter. And the, I'm going to start at the 68th verse. It says, Blessed be the Lord, Yahweh of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed, they go that word redeemed, his people. All right, who is his people? The Israelites, mainly the elect of the nation of Israel, which had given him of the Father. It says, And have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. So the horn of a salvation or the power of salvation is Yahweh Shah, man. All right? And it says, As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. Now we read, we read the film of that in Isaiah. Yeshaya, all right, spoke of Yahweh Shah. Foretold what he was coming to do. And he's coming, he's coming to kill, man. He's coming with anger. He's coming with wrath. He's coming with vengeance. All right? You know, it says, and have, it says, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the, the hand of all that hate us. Now, who is our main enemy? The Esau, the Edomites, the so-called white man. All right. His government is a main enemy. All right. He pays off minions to go out and try to discredit uh, and control the narrative of what we're teaching, man. But he'll never tell you that we talk about America being destroyed, that Yahweh Shah is going to come back and destroy the Edomites and take them out of power. He tries to control the narrative, man. All right? That's why we have to be saved from our enemies, man. All right? And them that hate us. All right? Uh, let's see, back in uh, uh, Luke, it says that we should be saved from our enemies or from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercies promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham. So the oath that the Lord swore to our father Abraham is going to be fulfilled in Yahweh Shah, carried out with Yahweh Shah for us to get the land back and be brought back into the land of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all right, of the prospective tribes. All right, so with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash, Double honesty, apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and salutation to you, brothers, is pushing the word of sincerity and truth. Shalom, my